In this video, we'll explain what is Wilcoxon's signed rank test and how it is calculated with help of some relevant examples. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax and enjoy this video on Wilcoxon's signed rank test. Let us first understand what are non-parametric tests. So non-parametric tests are also known as the distribution free test because they do not assume that your data follow a specific normal distribution. That is why they are distribution free test. So these tests are ideal when the sample size is small, your data is skewed, or your data is either ordinal, ranked, or non-continuous. Non-parametric tests are bifurcated into two categories: signed rank test and rank sum test. Let's first talk about signed rank test, which means like plus or negative. So this test is used when you are working with a paired data. Means that something is measured twice just before or after a treatment. And the most common example here is the Wilcoxon signed rank test. That is the signed rank category. On the other hand, we have rank sum, which is like ranking 1, 2 and 3 and so on. This is used for independent samples when you are comparing two different groups instead of repeated measurement on same group. The two most popular tests under rank sum test are the Wilcoxon rank sum test and the Man whitney u test. So take it like this, like if it is signed, we are looking at the positive and negative difference between the pairs. But if it is rank sum, we are comparing the rank data across the groups. So this is broadly very high level difference between signed rank test and the rank sub test. Well, let's talk about Wilcoxon signed rank test. So Wilcoxon signed rank test uh, is a non-parametric test that is used to compare two related samples or related measurements on a single sample to assess whether the population mean rank differs or not. Here is a great example of paired data. The same individuals measure before and after a certain event or treatment. Since the data is dependent here, the Wilcoxon sign rank test is a perfect fit here. The Wilcoxon sign rank test is basically an alternative to PAT test. It is used to check whether there is a significant difference between two dependent sample groups or not. Now you might be thinking uh, PAT test also do the same thing, right? Yes, it does. But here is the key difference. The paired t-test assumes that the difference between paired observations are normally distributed. If the distribution does not hold, Wilcoxon's signed rank test is a better choice. Why? Because it is non-parametric, meaning it does not rely on normality. It works well with ordinal data or continuous data that are normally distributed. Now let us look at some key conditions that you have under this thing. The so first is that you have a paired data. This means that you are working with the related groups. For example, before and after measurement from same individual or match subject in a study and the observation in each pair are linked in some meaningful way. Next is the ordinal continuous data. But the difference between paired data are not normally distributed. If your data doesn't meet the normality as the assumptions required by PAT test, no worries, Wilcoxon signed rank test have you covered. It is non-parametric test, so it does not require your data to follow a bell-shaped curve. It is also suitable for ordinal data like ranking or rating. Next is your medial difference is zero. So you want to test whether the medial difference is zero or not. So instead of focusing on mean like the pair t test does, this test looked at whether the medial difference between the pair is zero or not. In simple terms, it checks whether there is a consistent shift in values, either higher or lower, across the paired observations. Step by step guide how to perform Wilcoxon's sign rank test. Step 1 Calculate the difference before and after measurement. That is your first step. So, in the second step, if the differences that we have calculated in step 1 result in a zero difference, that means the initial difference and the before after difference are same, the so difference will be zero. So remove that measurement from that uh, table. Step 3. Take absolute values and rank them. Step 4. Reassign the sign to the ranks. Step 5. Add up all the positive and negative ranks. Step 6. Compare this with the critical value now. 
and finally last step make decisions based on the comparison and interpret the result let's take an example here so does the treatment or intervention lead to significant change in the outcome of these seven people that means whatever measurement we have before and after is there any significant change so we have the data of all these seven people before and after now we're going to use this wilcoxon sun rank test to evaluate if there is any significant change or not let's formulate the hypothesis now so null hypothesis says there is no significant difference between the period observation that is the median of the difference is zero and an alternate hypothesis would be there is a significant difference between the paired observation that is the median of difference is not zero that means what we want to determine so we want to determine whether the difference observed before and after treatment are statistically significant at five percent significance level or not let's start step one let's calculate the difference first before and after so this is the data so we have calculated the difference between before and after for each of these six persons so you will see we have differences in positive and negative and zero as well the so second step was remove zero difference right so in this case we have one zero difference coming up versus six which is which has same reading standard to on both before and after so we'll exclude this row so that means we'll only have six readings now six persons now take the absolute value and rank them just ignore the sign for ranking so do you have all these six person you have taken the before and after measurement you have eliminated one person because the difference was zero for before and after now just we have all the positive or negative difference in this table for absolute value just take the value ignore the sign for ranking how do we calculate ranking here so in that case you will see we have we have to rank them from ascending order like of absolute values so you have four twos in the, in the second last column then you have three and the five so you have already arranged them in the ascending order so for the values which are ascending order you, they if they are ranked they will be ranked one two and three or four by default so you add one two plus three plus four and we have four observations that sums up to be 10 and then divided by number of uh, absolute values of two that is four so you get 2.5 that means 2.5 is a ranking for each of the absolute value of two so add you add you fill basically 2.5 as a ranking for each two and then the next would be five and six because you cannot go beyond six we have six person so we have six ranking here that is how you rank here in this step so in the step four we need to reassign the signs to the rank so this is your table you have the ranks when you assign rank or the sign rank based on the sign that is in the difference column like in the for the first person if the difference is plus five so you will give it rank as plus six for second one is minus two so you will give rank as two and so forth so what is the sign that you see in this difference column add the same sign in the sign rank column now the steps five add up all the positive and negative ranks that you see in the last column like we'll say w positive is some of all the positive ranks which is like six four and two which sums up to twelve and sometimes double negative this is some of all the negative sign rank that is minus two minus two and minus two which is like minus six step six compare with the critical value so wilcoxon sign rank test is based on the sum of sign ranks that is w positive and w negative so test statistics in this case would be minimum of w positive or absolute value of w negative so we have already calculated these two values so we'll take a minimum of 12 and 6 which comes to a 6 or to test at 6 for w is 6 and now significance level alpha typically we take it as 0, 0, 0, 0 0.05 for 95 percent confidence level for step 7 now we need to make some decisions uh, w equal to 6 test statistics we have just recently calculated and it's equal to 6 for non-zero paid difference now for Wilcoxton critical values that we need to calculate from table we'll take n is equal to 6 alpha is equal to 0 0.05 for a two tail test we'll go back to Wilcoxton sign rank critical table we'll look for n is equal to 6 here in this row and in the vertical column we'll look for alpha 0 0.05 for two tail test we get critical value as 0 so now our test that is 6 says w which is equal to 6 is greater than 0 that means 
In conclusion, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That is the was our hypothesis here. That means there is not enough evidence to show that difference is there. That concludes our this video on Wilcoxon sign rank test. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press that bell icon for all the notifications from Digital Learning. And if you are watching this video on Instagram or Facebook, do follow us on all these platforms. You can also look at our website for interesting articles and videos. Link for all these is given below in the description. Now is the quiz time on this topic. Read the questions and leave your answers in the comment section below. First question. Which of the following is a key assumption of Wilcoxon's sign rank test? Options are Data must be normally distributed. Samples are independent. Data are paired and come from same population. Population variance must be known. Question 2. What type of data is suitable for Wilcoxon's sign rank test? Options are Nominal data. Interval or ratio data with normal distribution, pair data or continuous data without assuming normality, or single sample categorical data. Question number three. In the Wilcoxon sign rank test, what do we do with the pairs that has difference of zero? A. Assign it a rank of zero, include it as a sty, exclude it from the ranking and undo the analysis, and D. Double it rank. So, please leave your answers in the comment section below.